This is day two of my new weird ass schedule. I'm probably gonna put this one up on YouTube. I didn't put the first one on YouTube, but uh, just to let everybody know, my schedule's changing. Uh, I got a new job. Uh, my afternoons are somewhat the same. Maybe I'm a little bit more tired, but my mornings uh, I have to leave a lot earlier for the new job, so coffee's a lot earlier. Um, and I'm gonna just be trying to put a little bit more stuff on YouTube. The episodes are probably gonna be a little bit shorter. Just how it is. And uh, yeah, let's play some of this. This looks good. Um, I'm gonna stick with this build, even though I could go a little bit more run speed on Hammerhead. Um, just because I like these two maps. So let's go ahead and lose some rank. <laughs> mm. I haven't played solo in a little bit. So this should be fun. Also, uh, something that I want to kind of throw out there is that uh, I want to practice commentating. And uh, in addition to that, you know, like get some content up on my YouTube. Uh, so if any, uh, any tournament players out there, if you have footage of maybe a tournament set or a scrim or even like squads, if it's just, if it's a really good match, Ooh, this team comp. <laughs> that team comp. If it's a really good match, uh, let me know about it. And uh, I'm going to be uh, commentating over games. And then I'm going to put it on YouTube. So if you got a good match that you want me to use to practice commentating, send me the link and I'll let you get the uh, YouTube link of the finished product afterwards. So that's really good. Nice start, nice start. I'm going to push up. They don't have a charger, so like it's gonna be kind of hard to get revenge killed in situations like that. That uh, that CRB can do that kind of stuff. Luckily, our Luna is awesome. Doesn't kill by that bubble there, but I think by the time that bubble gets to mid, I'll be able to start painting, which is really nice. back away from the zone, and we win. Alright, so that's a good game one. That ain't bad. We'll see how badly we can mess up the rest. <laughs> and there's all the auto hosts. Remember how, like, two months ago I said I'd fix that? Yep. Ah. It's not bad. Yeah, our Luna went crazy positive that game. That was really nice, Luna. I mean, blasters are good for sharking on that map, but at the same time, um, I don't know, I guess like those, uh, those CRBs and the chair, like, what are they gonna do if they're not, like, really spot on and they're, like, trying to, like, hit the damn Luna, don't know where he is, and the Luna's just, like, fucking splash damage up in their shit? Because that's what it seemed like, right? Like, they kept, like, they're up on plat, they couldn't kill the Luna, they jumped down and the Luna would just be all over them and they would just miss. So I don't think that was a matchup thing as much as just the Luna wasn't fucking up and the guys on their team were fucking up. And I think this is the same lobby. I don't know. I recognize that Psy Games guy, right? Did we just see him? Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. But uh, yeah, let's talk about commentating, right? So, um, oh, did my webcam die? No, it didn't. Alright, good. <laughs> my webcam needs to be replaced. Um, yeah, so commentating, right? Um, so, yeah, uh, I, like, asked on Twitter, it's like, hey, man, if you guys, you know, have videos you want me to commentate, let me know, blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. And, um, people were like, why do you need to practice? Like, you're already good at it. And it's like, if I'm already pretty decent at it now, okay. if I'm already pretty decent at commentary now, when I'm just winging it, I'll, I should then be pretty damn good. Okay, nice. I should be pretty damn good at it once, uh, we're probably gonna let this get to 60 by the way, I should be pretty damn good at it once we actually
actually, you know. Oh boy. Sorry, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Yeah, alright. If I just wing it and I'm pretty decent at it, I should be really good at it if I actually put the effort into it. I want bubble. Give it to me. Alright. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. We got the lead out of that. <sighs> yeah! Alright. Commentary. Yeah, so like, um, I really like it. I think that... I want to have. It's, a, it's nothing on the lines of like me not wanting to play or anything like that, um, but I do think that I'm really good at things other than playing, and if I can do those on the side without it affecting my ability to play, um, I totally want to do it. I think that if this game ever goes like super duper esports, I will have to make a choice between playing and doing things like commentary and running tournaments and stuff, and I think that honestly. I think that uh, playing won't be the right choice, most likely. I mean, that's what I'd expect, but who knows? Ooh, okay, got me. And that's just because um, if this game ever does go super duper esports, the the amount of players that will be playing will be like ridiculous, and it's going to be that much harder to make it to the top. And this game won't be a game where like playing will actually be able to make you a living. So it'll come to a point where, like, if I'm doing this, like, seriously, it's going to take, like, proportionately way more work to be a top player as far as, like, winning tournaments, which I have trouble doing now, compared to, like, being a good commentator, which I don't have any trouble being a, a top commentator. Like, I know it's hard to measure it, and I know it's subjective, and it might be a little bit cocky of me, but I think I'm pretty good at commentating. I think I'm pretty good at talking to people, etc. And it, it's just like, that, that seems like a better option, right? And I can have a lot of influence like that. I can, um, I, I can be really happy. I really like doing it. And I don't think it'll stop me from playing. And if I think that if I do go into like serious commentary, that I will actually, um, I'll probably try coaching. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And by coaching a team, I can get in the high-level play that I want to, because if I'm coaching for a team, I'll be playing with them sometimes. And I can get into scrims and stuff like that. Uh, so, I don't know, I think, like, just as, like, some forward thinking, that would be good. But, uh, the bottom line, though, is for now, and for, like, unless, like, the game goes super esports, it's, like, playing comes first. You know what I mean? Because I, I really like playing, I really like team, I really like going to tournaments, really like high level play, all that stuff. Um, so as long as that kind of stuff doesn't go away, I'm fine. If that makes sense. Because it makes sense to me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, also, I guess what I also want to talk about is, like, this new job, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, um, but, you know, like, uh, doing the stream and like the viewers and like the Twitch community like you guys are like a part of my life so I might as well share some of it but uh yeah so if you don't know I, all right so I went to the I've been going to Stockton University in New Jersey it, it actually just became a university while I was going there so I signed up for it while I was in college and then it turned to a university and then I got a university degree which is pretty nice we actually have uh we've had the qualifications to be university for a long time they I guess they just waited so they could do that you know what I mean uh man, does this webcam keep dying I do need a new webcam. This is actually an Xbox Live Vision cam. If you don't know what that is, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it, it's a really old web camera. But uh, yeah, so I started out working for computer services, like helping like teachers, like if uh, you know one of the printers doesn't work or the projectors acting funny or whatever on the person that runs up and on the person that runs up and you know fixes it or whatever. Like, are you sure it's plugged in? I'm like one of, I was one of those guys and. Uh, then I started 
because before I started working there, I had gotten an internship, uh, which isn't really an internship. It was like a, an unpaid. It was a class that was pretty much set up like an internship, and I did a good job there, and that's what got me the jobs on campus. So I started working at computer services. Uh, that internship was at the Holocaust Center. I know you got a lot of guys know about that. And then I actually started working at the Holocaust Center um, after I wasn't a full-time student and I couldn't do the computer. Oh, nice skill, nice trade. Okay, uh, after I couldn't do the. Um, the uh, computer services job, which is a student worker job, I got hired at the Holocaust Center. And then eventually, I got hired um, being a web developer, um, which is what I've been doing for the last year. Uh, not really a web developer, I've been like assistant to like the head web developer, if that makes sense. Oh god, this is uh, scary. I'm about to have a teammate here. Alright, well, they didn't. Alright, well this game's going poorly. But yeah, um, so I got hired doing um, a lot of, you know, like a lot of web development work. It was mostly helping the, uh, helping the professors uh, work on the new website that we're switching over to and stuff. And then, long story short, because I keep getting interrupted by the game, but uh, I got hired pretty much doing the same thing except um, just the development stuff and not like the helping you know, the professors help run their websites. Like, I'm actually, like, writing code and stuff, which is pretty cool. Now it's a full-time job. Um, and that's not really important. Uh, the important part is that uh, I'm going to be able to actually move out of my house, which is pretty cool. Um, my mom and I are going, instead of uh, me getting a, uh, instead of me getting in a, an apartment, my mom and I are going to split a condo, and I'm going to, like, pay rent to her. And then she's going to pay the rest. She's going to do condo fees, and then I'm going to do utilities and stuff. Um, the reason we're doing that uh, is because it saves me a little bit of money over just paying rent. And it also leaves it in our family. So when I'm done with it, my mom's going to move into it and retire there. Um, it's like five minutes away from my, from my job. It's a really nice place. It's near this, like, uh, this like quaint little, like, uh, kind of, like, like, little historic little town on this lake. Like, it's on a bunch of docks that go over the lake. And... Uh, it's got like bakeries and arts and crafts stuff and like all these like really nice restaurants and it's all like it's not like touristy we don't get like we do get tourists in the summer but or we like I'm already living there but um it's just it's very it's very classy the uh, the people there are really nice the the atmosphere is really nice because um, that's where my mom wants to like retire to or whatever but I'm gonna get to live there in the meantime and it's a two-story place it's got a garage. Uh, it's got a nice backyard, I can bring my cat there. What I'm probably gonna do is get her some kind of cage or something so I can like let her chill in the back and watch all the goddamn geese that are there because we're near a lake. Um, also the place that we're looking into is well maintained so there's not gonna be a lot of bugs during the summer which is a problem around here. It's actually a big problem around here. Oh, that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. Gotta start getting up top more. Now this wasabi actually jump to him. I don't know if that was the best idea. Let's just start going in. So I jumped and got that guy. Alright, let me get up top. Yeah. Now hopefully this isn't uh, too convoluted with me getting distracted every couple seconds, but uh But yeah, it's it's nice that I'm gonna be able to get my own apartment and uh you know be able to live by myself because I've been living with my family for a long time and not that I there's there's no problems with my family life but it's gonna be nice to you know be by myself live my own make my own decisions stuff like that not that I don't make my own decisions but I, I think it makes sense right like I think everybody has a desire to, to get out of the house and get their own place and I'm like 27 and I've been staying at home because it's been cheaper I mean like it, it's paid off because I I don't have any debt from going to school. Um, I have been living super cheap. You know what I mean? Like I help out around the house and stuff like that. But uh, compared to a lot of people my age, man, like people get stuck without. They get stuck living at their own place without making enough money. All these school loans and stuff. All this debt building up, and I don't have any of that. So it's like, yeah, like I've had to live with my my mom and and my dad when he was still around. When he's still alive, but like, and like that's not, I don't know, like I guess like it's like embarrassing or something, but in the end, 
it's worked out really nicely for me because now it's it's paying off. You know what I mean? Because it's like living with your parents is cheap. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot. Oh, why'd you try to roll? Damn. Oh boy. How unfortunate. If we lose, I get to blame that dynamo. Almost a bubble, though. Lose. My bubble. Why does this dino keep trying to roll? Right, I'm gonna do my thing and stay up top, though. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back and watch this episode, and I'm just gonna be like s scatterbrained talking about stuff. Yo, what's going on, man? But, yeah, I was just uh, I was just talking to I guess YouTube viewers that uh. I got a new job and I'm gonna get my own place and it's really exciting and I want to start practicing commentary. Oh man. The thing I said about getting up top and not doing it. Uh, but yeah, I want to start practicing commentary because um, I'm good at commentary but I don't practice it. So if I start practicing it, I think I'll get really good at it. And when Splat 2 comes around, that'll be like really good for like my reputation and like, I don't know, I guess like my kind of my brand. This way. Especially like in, if, in Splat 2, if like we can actually get team sponsorships, like me being a commentator, having the name, will be a big help. Go him. This guy is cracking. So I gotta watch out for him. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna take this nice and simple and just go up top like I should have been doing. I think our teammates will probably be able to win without me, but still. Can you join? Nah, nah, nah. I'm doing solo key right now. I'm not doing anything with viewers. Actually, don't have much that that much time. Ah. And my webcam's dying again. All right, so that's the uh, thing. When I move into my house, I'm gonna be getting a bunch of. I'm gonna be purchasing a lot of stuff. Just you know, for the new house and everything. And a webcam's gonna be one of them. So there's that. And, um, oh, oh, I thought it froze again. That was just me being, uh, not moving. Oh, you're going to play Zelda Breath of the Wild? Dude, I've been playing a ton of Zelda. Um, I've been taking it super slow. I just finally got to the fireplace, <laughs> to, like, the fire dungeon. I just did that. Um, like, I, I, I've gotten, like, a ton of shrines, and I'm doing, like, a ton of ending game, like, you know, post-game stuff, but I haven't beaten the game yet, so. I've been taking, doing my own, uh, my own thing with that. I'm actually going to go into Turf War for the last game, because I feel good about those ranked matches, and, I don't know. Don't feel like uh, risking any negativity, so I'll, pl I'll play Turf War for the last game. But uh, yeah, man, I've been doing, I've been having a lot of fun with Zelda. I've been um, just exploring, man. Like I just explore, and like whenever I feel like I need to collect a resource, I go do it, and then I just go to like the next place that I feel like I need to explore. And like I spend a lot of time not making progress and going back and like grabbing resources or whatever. But honestly, um, I like it like that. Like a lot of people, it's like, oh man, I'm already in get post game and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Or it's like, oh, you got to do this for the story because you get this stuff. And it's like, nah, I kind of prefer just on my own pace. Sky fighting. This 
on FLC. He's like, you should have been painting all that. So run around and shoot stuff, man. Oh man. <laughs> So that's a little rough, and this guy's gonna run up by himself and get killed too, right? Probably. Try that shit with me. Where's my team anyway? They're all dead. Oh boy. Alright, I'm about to get bubble. Let's go, let's go. Damn. I'm just rushing the sniper, I don't even care. <laughs> Did anybody push during that? No. <laughs> See, this is why I wanted to do turf war for my last game. Instead of ranked, because I knew something like this was about to happen. Actually, I'm, oop. I think my webcam is just dead, dead. No, it's fine. All right, cool. But yeah, no, I didn't want to. <laughs> I didn't want to go through with that. But uh, yeah, that, that was uh, an episode, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna put this up on YouTube anyway. But it's. Uh, I know that I was kind of like really scatterbrained and stuff the whole time. Um, but yeah, man, new job. Uh, got some extra plans. It should be fun. It should be fun. Splatoon 2 is going to come out, and uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of taking advantage of that, like getting some kind of, kind of like, I guess, like brand awareness out there with like the YouTube and the Twitch and commentating and tournaments and being a player and doing well and winning a lot. Like, that stuff's cool, too. Still doing this stuff, you know, teaching people stuff. It's pretty cool. So, yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Gonna go ahead and host someone. Not exactly sure who that's gonna be, but uh, let's uh, let's see here. So, Gingerbread Man streaming. <laughs> We're gonna host him. All right, cool. Everybody have a nice one. I'll see y'all later.